Yeah, David Dread of Steel Pulse, and I'm saying heal to Lion Voice because it's time that the lion have its voice, have its own story. Says I'm stepping out here. Hear me now. Yeah, the lion's voice. Raw. <coughs> what do you have to tell the people about Rastafari? <laughs> Light to the world. The king of kings and the conquering line of the tribe of Judah. I like himself. Where's my food? Hey yo! Hey yo! Hear them high, hear the black king on the 23rd of July. So tell them guy who prays God up in the sky, it's a lie. The Almighty living on your knife. From ancient times, them are try. Them Romans know them just so in them suit and ties. Criminals ain't got no how to buy they stole my people Then them come to without them genocide Are you talking about slavery? Them couldn't kill The lion where come conquer to the tribe Who? Go to tribulation, I your nice tribe See separation, I your nice still rise That's why we tell them in America Live Rastafari in every ghetto area We come to tell them in a Toronto Straight at it Um, you know, we still have ones out there fighting unification movement. I'm asking my brethren and sisters to really look deep in themselves and, you know, see how they're spending their time. Are they spending their time fighting something or are they building something? Because right now, family, make sure majority of your time is spent building something because I tell you I them rough times are ahead and, you know, those who work together are going to have a much better chance to survive what is to come um don't feel for a second um because remember the stage is set um just let me give some context uh for what could happen potentially um we look at the middle east um you know according to many uh within the jewish tradition you know they're still waiting for their messiah let's talk about that um, that Messiah is also the same Messiah that many fundamentalist Christians are waiting for, Yeshua. Um, the Christians would say Jesus that returned. But for many of them, he will only return when the third temple of Solomon is built, if the temple of Solomon is rebuilt. Here's the problem that they have now. The problem is that the Alas Mosque, which is the holiest site in Islam, um, or second holiest site in Islam behind Mecca and Medina um, is right there in, in Jerusalem, the place where the Prophet Muhammad ascended into the heavens, um, marked by that spot where the Temple of Solomon was. Remember, all of the Hebrew patriots are also patriots in the Islamic faith. So Solomon would become Suleiman. You have, uh, you know, so there's this overlap in the Abrahamic religion. So. Um, for them to rebuild that third temple of Solomon to set the, the, the stage for this Messiah, um, that temple is an impediment. They can't just lick down the temple. They need a pretext. And this is the extreme um, on both sides that we're talking about. You know, probably most Israelis today are secular Israelis. Um, the party at Tel Aviv and them something they saw. Um, but they're extreme and, and the thing that we also have to remember many of these extremists are getting up in age the baby boomers who were around when his majesty walked the earth and was coming to the countries and and, and a chad, chatter you know what I mean for the disappearance many of them are up in age and failing in health they want to see things activate before them chad you know these extremists uh, who hold the power so you know you see even with the the Hamas incursion which was planned they say for two years um, land sky and see them and them come down by Israel kill uh, estimated 1400 people so the blood because you know big things in history are often uh, cast in blood the blood sacrifice you understand so we have to look at these things metaphysically and see what's happening as well. Um, Israel um, answer back and blood has shed. So when this amount of blood has shed, um, and I say rising up the global firestorm, it's like an ant's nest. Um, 
because Hamas has also been preparing for this ground invasion. Um, it's going to pull in other nations, countries, Iran has sent it, this and that. So it's a whole heap of thing going to happen, family. Um, this is going to cause restriction on shipping, food shortage. Um, and again, we ask, are we ready? Are we prepared as Rastafari? Um, I'm looking forward to chatting down into St. Croix to, to, to reason with the family and see how we can uh, connect the dots, put things together. Um, and I'm asking, again, Lion Pride, wherever you are, Rastafari family, you know, this is the time we talk about organize and centralize. Join an organization, join an institution. I have several. The item can join. You know, send me a message. Um, you know, tapping on the ecosystem, whether it's a comment somewhere. Um, if you want to be active right now, because this is action is time. Don't just sit in your house and be a victim waiting for others to decide your destiny. Connect with your brethren and sistren who are active um, so we can make some things happen. We have our study group. We study the teachings of His Majesty. And one thing that we see in the study of the teachings is that His Majesty had a vision for Africa that has still not yet been fulfilled. And, and Africa as a light to the rest of the world um, to bring in this global peace uh, and serenity, the foundation, the root, and from a scientific perspective, it's proven that Africa is the root of humanity, the most genetic diversity of any place on earth, more genetic diversity within the African continent than exists outside the continent. So we know, say, a mom or dad. So um, what we are seeing is that that mission, you know, um, which I, I do, you know, called Rasmin Head. So Rastafari, our mission is to fulfill the teachings of his imperial majesty to, to be that light to embody you know the man you know the empress um the emperor the empress to exemplify the emperor the empress on the earth you know his majesty said the time when the sovereign alone would shoulder the responsibility as as you know is over uh, and another speech, he said, um, you know, the sacrifice of Yeshua, the hearts of man become the temple of the Mosai. So I and I now become the temple of the Mosai, which we say is Haile Selassie the first. So would the living temple mean fulfilling of that work, meaning the unification, economic strengthening, turn to agriculture, you know, big up, um, you know, those who are working on the food and water security, we are actively working in these areas. Um, different Rastafari organs are working in these areas. Big up the farmers, you know. Association of Rastafari Creatives has declared that farmers are creatives. You know, the Rastafari farmer and, and just farmers in general are creative. They are finding creative ways to grow food. They are, they are artisans on the landscape how they plow their fields, how they you know do their rows, how they beautify the countryside, permaculture, choosing the plants that work synergistically. That's an art, you know. So big up the farmer, the artistry of the farmer right now. Um, I say as part of your network, you know, as part of the Rastafari farm army, I say as part of the Rastafari man standard that everyone who tried in Rastafari or said they a Chazmach or a Ras or taking on any titles, Negos, anything, you should have a network of farmers within that network. You should know some farmers, you know, that have to be part of your liberty and your chat, where you know some man where grow the food that you consume or you can connect in with farmers who grow food because when times get dread, these are the people you're going to want around, you know. Um, again, I re-emphasize we are in dreadful times by any estimation. Um, the, the economic projections is that there's a recession coming to the United States next year, 2024. Um, again, war, Israel has declared that they 
are declaring war on Hamas and they are preparing for a, a prolonged ground war offensive. They're going house by house, down into the tunnels, down into the depths of the Gaza. It's going to be a bloody warfare that is going to ignite the passion around the world. Um, still, you know, COVID still a run up and down out there. We might have other um, infectious disease release on the population, plagues. Re Revelation talks about the angels with the plagues and the vials releasing the plagues upon the earth. You might not deal with them thing, them, but when you look upon COVID and it create a Wuhan, China, potentially, allegedly, it spill out upon the earth. Things happen. This happen. We're, we're looking at these things. You know what I mean? Correlation. Maybe. However, the fact remains that I and I have work to do and unity is the accepted goal, His Majesty said that. So I really want us to think about, you know, when we use these terms, because every Ras would tell you say unity is, you know, the accepted goal. Every Ras would say we need unity. But if you look at the actions of all I and I, we have to be honest. Are all I and I working toward unity in, in reality? Are we developing plans? Or are we just in a, in a mode of trying to tear things down? You know? Um, and a lot of us get into that, um, thing. We complain. We do all of this and everything is wrong and bop, bop, bop. But what are the, even if you join with two or three, are you putting something that's developing and, and building the nation? Because what will happen? We, we may not all agree. We may not all like each other. But if everybody's doing something, then guess what? We can connect the dots and we can move forward in strength because there's so much work to do. There's work for everyone. So we don't have to try to be selfish with this work. So I really... Again, just wanted to come and to reason on the unity, and that unity does not mean uniformity. Them could never conquer the mountains, thousands of years and counting. Ethiopia rise again unto the world. Now we are announcing Them a plan for war We a plan for peace And now we see them wanna go dismantle the base When the trumpet sound And the violence cease How we see them wanna go build up the cities Well, them a plan for war We a plan for peace And now we see them wanna go dismantle the base Rastafari crown As the prince of peace Him tell the youths them to build up them countries Well, solar energy That them a see The whole city powered by the sun's energy the road them make out the hemp and concrete neighborhoods full of fruit trees that taste sweet the youths put down them guns them harvest and a reap the beautiful gardens will line every street tired of the bloodshed them done with the beef not even animals feed them them burn out the meat where people say hi this still I see I see Nile when they see say him a treat the dirt like a child peace on earth from the banks of the Nile that's why we giving thanks in style Since we're Babylon now we pan them a stockpile Babylon now we kill kill them brother and smile Ayan 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 Babylon a reptile Them a plant for shed blood We got plans for the soil Them a plan for war We a plan for peace And now we see them wanna go dismantle the base When the trumpet sound And the violence cease How we see one go below the cities Well, them a plan for war We a plan for peace and now we see him wanna go dismantle the beast Rastafari crown as the prince of peace Him tell the youths them fee below them countries no more gullies, proper sanitation Proper toilets with proper filtration Clean water for the youths Them we use our sons and daughters Safe, no more child abuse Africa arise, read it in the news On the day when Rastafari ready, we kill off move 
3D printing, long side hem shoes Herb get legalized, hard drugs them get refused Well people used to say they bring him man senile True himself he tried it with man, woman and child Him said peace on earth from the banks of the Nile That's why we give him thanks in style She said Babylon now we man them a stockpile Babylon now we kid kill them brother and smile Ayana yana yana Babylon a reptile Them a plants fish shed blood, we have plans for the sun Yeah, my